So, uh, material latent defect is a, is a physical effect that is not discernible through a horizontal home inspection mm -hmm. and makes a property dangerous or potentially uh, uh, dangerous for the occupants. Yeah. So this is the, the definition and um, it's very, it could be very costly if uh, the seller didn't disclose it. For this reason, I advise all my clients, if you had a problem, let's, for this reason, I do the pre-home inspection. Why? because in the pre-home inspection, I can find some material defects. Yeah. I can ask the seller to repair it before the putting on the market. And then just to be sure that when you sell something, you sell good quality, everything yeah. done. So you don't have any legal issue after that. Well, Marius, it's good to see you. Good to see you too. How long but, have you been a real estate agent? Since 2005. Yes. And so almost 18 years. 18 years. Listen, congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much, Scott. You're the best at what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much. of the flooding or fire they have to leave mm. then you don't have any any income because the tenants yeah. are out so if you have that insurance um, you are covered by the net not the gross the mm -hmm. net mm -hmm. so let's say the gross is 2500 but let's say uh, your uh, expense is about 500 so the net is just 2000 so mm. they the, you know the insurance will give you 2000 net yeah. to cover your cost even okay. if the tenant now so it's it's good to have it's, it's, it's yes it's good to have and uh, hopefully not using that situation where like yeah. uh, I always say with the drugs and m medicine it's good to have in the house hopefully mm -hmm. no you you're never going to use it it's the same with the insurance yes it's good to have it just a peace of mind and hopefully you don't have to use it yes now this is what is happening when I, I mean sorry we talk about situations mm -hmm. normal situations mood situation but how about we have some problems after the closing can happen right yes. you worked for so many years i bet you have some yes. like examples yes, yes. And, it's very and rare how, when i have how do you but deal um, with the situation but very rare I, th I think i have one or two situations out of 700 homes so uh, so it's a uh, you know very very rare for me but you know in an industry they are they are happening much more often so um um the problem here is you know there are two uh, there are two big um like uh, you know uh, scenarios okay um so uh, so one, if the problems were disclosed in a home inspection or otherwise before the closing. So in some cases, you know, the listing uh, agent, you know, disclosed somewhere on the listing that, you know, the basement has a leaking from time to time. Mm. But that one is one. So it was disclosed. And even if it happens again, you know, the seller cannot be sued because they disclosed, you know, that one can happen. But if the, if the problems, they're not disclosed, so they were light, light, latent defects. Mm -hmm. This is the latent defects. When, yeah. let's say, even, you know, during the home inspection, you, you cannot see what is behind the walls. But the, the seller somehow yeah. knew about it. Mm. And, but he didn't inform even the listing mm. agent and even the buyer. And yeah. then if the buyer has a problem, uh, you know, uh, after the closing, um, uh, that the seller can be liable. So I just give an example. So let's say he has um, he has a problem with the wiring and plumbing inside inside of the walls, and uh, like five ten years ago, and mm -hmm. then um, they tried to fix it. Uh, you know that some contractor came at their home, and then some neighbor saw that truck and asked the, the you know the oh. the seller, okay, what happened? Oh, you know I had some issues with the plumbing on the basement mm -hmm. in a hidden wall. I tried to you know, so they did something, but they didn't completely. They did it partially, mm -hmm. and then f after the sale, a few years later, something happened again. And then uh -huh. what happened? Yeah, they have a flooding again, and then it, with a new buyer, and yeah. then the buyer, you know when you know goes um, you know you know met the, the next door neighbor who is living for his or, or, or his life mm. there and said oh no i have a problem and they say oh by the way but the previous seller had the same problem okay. 10 years ago okay. and then the buyer say oh my god so this is a latin defect mm. so the seller didn't uh, you know uh, told the listing agent mm. didn't uh, told this anybody yeah. uh, kept it for himself trying to get a higher value for his property yeah. and then it's a breach so then yeah. the buyer can sue the uh, the, the the former seller really? just because wow. uh, because he uh, was hidden that oh, defect wow.
It's, it's so, so depending if it was, uh, as I said, if it was disclosed or not disclosed. Mm. So uh, material left in the fact is a, is a physical effect that is not discernible through a horizontal home inspection mm -hmm. and makes a property dangerous or potentially uh, uh, dangerous for the occupants. Yeah. So this is the, the definition and um, it's very, it could be very costly if uh, the seller didn't disclose it. For this reason, I advise all my clients, if you had a problem, let's, for this reason, I do the pre-home inspection. Why? because in the pre-home inspection, I can find some material defects. Yeah. I can ask the seller to repair it before the putting on the market. And then just to be sure that when you sell something, you sell good quality, everything yeah. done. So you don't have any legal issue after that. Yeah. But some people, they don't want to, but mm -hmm. they take a risk, a big risk, because if they don't do that and the buyer find out later mm. that that uh, was a latent defect, he, they can be sued by the, the, the buyers and they yeah. can uh, have uh, major legal implications. And I'm pretty sure you are advising your yeah. clients because you don't want to be associated with people lying about their oh, properties because it's also your, your of, image, of, is your yeah, reputation. Exactly. And, and what I explained to my clients, I mm -hmm. said, you know, don't see it like, uh, you know, like uh, just a $500 or $600, how much I pay for you, which is, by the way, included on my listings mm -hmm. uh, packages in some cases. Yeah. Um, so what happened is if, let's say, we do a 70, 80 pages of home inspection report, very detailed, mm -hmm. and let's say, um, you know, we fix some of them, but some of them, for some reasons, they, 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 my clients, they didn't want to fix it or they don't have the, yeah. the money to fix it. What yeah, but, what but, but it's there. But, but it's there it's on there. the, on the, on the, exactly, and then yeah. when, when um, all the buyer agents, yes. they're asking for it, I just send it to them. Yes. And then different. if they don't read it, yeah. the 70, it, 80 pages, it's on the paper. Yes. It's on the paper. So can. my client, they cannot be sued. Even yes. if they found out later, I say, no, Mr. Well, buyer, yeah. you see on the page number yes. 79 yeah. on the on the home inspection report says very clearly mm -hmm. that you have to change the piping in the basement because of some reasons or the wiring or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And they, they, if they didn't read it, carefully and uh, their buyer agent didn't read it carefully yeah. and then something happened after the closing then the buyer is responsible not a yeah. seller so see it's so important to also have an agent a good agent when you also buy oh a yes property oh yes oh yeah. yeah you have to know what you're buying it's exactly. because sometimes you don't know but yeah. yeah you 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 have to to make sure your client has a good fate like you said maybe he or she cannot pay for uh, to, to fix whatever it's broken yes, but at exactly. least this but closes. I don't want to scare the potential buyers no, so 99% um, you know 99% of the cases um, the buyer has to satisfy himself yeah. before uh, before the closing so yeah. so if they don't do that that it's one percent chance to find mm. something else on the on the but but usually 99 percent uh, they're you know in a good hands you know they search the listing the buyer agent they put a home inspection report just in case if it's a multi proper situation mm. and there are two or three offers and then you know you're feeling that you can mm. lose the property yeah. then it's a little bit of a chance because you weigh the home inspection yeah. because and, and plus if you weigh the home inspection uh, on the other hand you can um, you know you can buy the property with maybe 10 20 30 thousand less than if you put the home inspection report so okay. always it's a balance so let's yeah. say you find something that it's about 10 thousand you know or 20 thousand maybe you know because you produce the property 20 thousand less you can pay later you know yeah. so so it's not a, it's not an end of the world so yeah. it's and, you know and we will we promise we will have every single item on today discussion even more detailed we are going yeah. to dissect every uh point we discussed yeah. today because and we, we want with, people with case to, scenarios exactly with case scenarios people to understand maybe we can collect some questions from yes. people so we can it, you I can more than happy uh, respond to, to, to the questions mm. because there's so many scenarios there are so many situations there are so many regulations like it's 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 hard it's very hard to, to, to not the people they want to buy by themselves mm. or 
private or uh, to go with, uh, as I said, with, a, with yeah. an agent that is not so experienced, they take a big bet. They take a big, Auto -sabotage. big Auto-sabotage. This is it's, what I say. Uh, yeah, Auto-sabotage by your, yourself. Marius, thank you so much. Amazing thank discussion. Thank you, Felicia. Thank and you for I coming. I can't wait for the next time uh, because um, we have so much to discuss. And yeah. people are asking questions. And you are like so good in explaining and you have so much knowledge and I mean you can I mean you can tell you have so much experience you're not just have the numbers of years in the field but you had so many like experience yeah, in closing I, deals and I, transactions. I, you cannot imagine how many how many uh, issues I have during the years and I resolve them and I learn from them yeah. and not just from books. So I, um, you know, some, some people, they said to me, you know, you know more than a lawyer, you know, in you certain cases, know. you know, because, you know, it's, yes. it's so, it's so interesting because I sold so many properties yeah. during the year and each property has a, a separate, like a small problem or a bigger problem. Yeah, and, something particular um, uh, yeah, for but that I, situation. I, it's like, it's like uh, hands, it's hands on. So I learn yes. it uh, by doing it, which exactly, is much yeah. better than learning by learning. And then you can forget, but be because I did it yeah. happened to me. I never, I yeah. never forgot yeah. those ones and advice carefully mm -hmm. my clients what to be aware what to be aware of what, what to yeah. have to be you know to don't worry about you know like uh, you know a small dent on the hardwood this one but a highway on the back of the property or hydro lines yes. back you know it's a much more issue Absolutely, bigger issue yeah. so we, maybe we can talk um, next uh, next uh, session yeah. about you know what's the best uh, idea for a good investment to have a, a great um, uh, return in in, in the yeah. long run yes and what are the aspects what do you have to look looking for and, oh, yeah. and, and stuff like that. So we can discuss, um, you know, uh, separately uh, regarding the condos, apartments or condo townhouses, the freeholds, because each one is different. So we have to, okay. to discuss let's, much more, much deeper. Okay, let's do okay. that. Let's okay. do that. But thank you so much for, for coming. And was, uh, uh, hopefully um, our, you know, our viewers, oh, yeah. if they have any questions, I'm very happy to, yeah. uh, you know, respond them. Mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, to contact me directly if they have any issues. Absolutely, the only yeah. thing, the only, the only um, thing that I want to tell them, if they if they have already a listing in place or a buyer agency in place, I cannot do that. Yes. So they yeah. have to be clean, uh, yeah. and then they have they can call me. Yeah. But I cannot um, overlap if, or, or if inter in, process, in, in, yeah. um, in, in with another agent. It's I not know. ethical, and I don't want to have any Absolute. any troubles. Absolutely, and I still uh, I will. Um, follow up with you all the time because you still have to <laughs> write a book because yeah. you have so much knowledge you should write a book I, 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 at I one have point to. I, have I know to. you're I busy you. now yeah. but probably in a few I, years I, I, you yes. will uh, yeah yes. you'll have your own book anyway thanks so much Marius thank you, thank you again <laughs> okay take care well Marius it's good to see you good to see you too how long but have you been a real estate agent since 2005 yes and so almost 18 years 18 years listen you work so hard you're top 100 agent worldwide which is fantastic congratulations thank you so that. much Scott. and you don't just help people sell or buy homes you do the whole pack how, so, how do you know what to do to a house in order to increase its value um i learned from you yeah. You know? <laughs> okay, and, so you're a pro should, then. Yeah. <laughs> so I try to, you know, explain people that if they, you know, improve their, you know, like with a new countertop, a new flooring, a new bathroom, a new kitchen, they will, you know, like for each dollar, they will get maybe one, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars more. Yes. So this is very important. It's the return and, on investment. Exactly. You want to take care of your yeah. clients. You're not just here to help them buy or sell a yeah. home. You help them move. You give them renovation tips. Everything. It's one of the reasons why you and your family are so successful in this business. Yes, they basically they give me the, the keys of the house and they live in Caribbean for two weeks and when they come back the house is sold for the, the most money. So, you should have your own yeah. show. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I am so busy doing that but I, I love it but you know it's, um, it's a it's, it's a pleasure to do the best thing for my clients. So. Well, look, you've seen a lot. You've got a lot of experience, especially in the Markham area. Where do you see the future of real estate in Markham? Because of the uh, huge immigration in, in Canada, I think it's a good investment to, uh, for investors to invest in real estate. Yes. And especially in Markham because, um, you know, it's uh, close to Toronto. Uh, close to 404, so the you know the it's a you know very very close to Toronto, and uh, 
um, the, the value in long term will go up for sure, yeah. you know, yeah. so it's a great investment. Listen, congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much, Scott. You're the best at what you do. Thank you. Thank you so much.